everybody, this is Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. Never a dull moment. This is what it is when you take in a helpless abandoned animal from the street. You would think this sweet little loving, perfect three to four month of age, nine pound baby boy who was dumped and left in a shopping cart in Winn-Dixie in Miami, then taken in by the Miami-Dade police station, uh, put in a pen outside in the heat, and then I received a call from Officer Judy Webb asking if our organization could take him to eliminate him going from the kill shelter. Of course, we said yes. So he's a little uh, antsy this morning. What baby? He's just a baby. He's three to four months of age. He's adorable. He's loving. He's sweet. Don't jump. I am up doing this video because I am here. I left my house at eight o'clock this morning. Come here, buddy. Let me get you down off of here. I don't want you to fall. Um, I met our foster mommy, Debbie, who was kind enough to foster him for the weekend so he wouldn't take up space in our new rescue house. And um, I'm here at uh, Leader uh, Emergency Animal Hospital here in Cooper City because he has a um, heart murmur. So before we can responsibly adopt him out, we need to make sure his heart is okay. Our um, attending initial, the, our, our veterinarian office in Fort Lauderdale checked him over and said he had a heart murmur stage three to four. Um, he's just a puppy, which, so that's very concerning to myself and my team. So I made the appointment for this morning um, to have him seen by Dr. Schroeder, who is a cardiologist, board certified, and they will do an echocardiogram to make sure. <laughs> you just want to be on my lap, don't you, Dylan? This is Dylan. Um, they're going to do the echo uh, to make sure he's okay and um, then we can figure out what he needs, if he needs any medications, or I'm praying to God it's just, an, he's okay. I'm praying to God that due to all that he went through that day, being dumped in a shopping cart at a Winn-Dixie, um, and then picked up by the police, and being outside in the heat for so many hours that it affected his tests when he initially came in. Um, but we're gonna find out for sure with Dr. Schroeder here at Leader. Uh, specialty emergency hospital. So I will update you just as soon as I get any answers on little Dylan here. Um, I didn't get an appointment because they were booked so I'm basically on an emergency uh, standby and I'm in a room and I'm waiting for them to come in and take him and do the testing on him. You want to get down? Go ahead. So this is my update for Monday morning. And after I leave here, I will be heading to the rescue house um, and we'll update more from there. But guys, this, this testing is very costly. These are the things that we're not prepared for and we need your help uh, to walk into this clinic and have the echocardiogram, um, just the, the walking into the clinic. We're looking at about $600 for this test and we get a discount. So with our discount, it'll be around six. It was originally seven, um, give or take. But I will be posting the vet bills once I get them. I'm asking for your help, please. Uh, please donate so we can try to cover the cost of Dylan um, and what his needs will be moving forward. Taking an animal in is not that simple. There are always, comp there are always things that these babies need um, and we're not doing them any justice if we can't follow through and do exactly that. So please um, find it in your hearts to donate something and help us try to cover um, little Dylan here. Again, uh, the, the animal hospital will not take donations directly over the phone. This is a specialty hospital. Um, it's leader. It's an emergency hospital here in Cooper City. Again, I'm seeing Dr. Sh Dr. Schroeder. Um, and then I will put up the PayPal link when I shut this down and um, also our mailing address if you would choose to donate that way. But I'm asking please. I'm, I'm exhausted. Uh, it's been nonstop. It's, it's, it's worth it, but we're tired. And I'm asking for your help to please donate. 
for little Dylan. I can, when I hold him, I can feel his little heart beating so fast in his chest. Um, I'm not, you're going under my shirt, Dylan. You're going under my shirt. You just want to cuddle. He's so delicious, guys. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Say hi to everybody. Huh? And tell everybody you need their help, Dylan. So please, guys, uh, donate something for Dylan. And I promise you that I will update you just as soon as I get answers from the Echo with Dr. Schroeder here at Leader. This is Amy. I'm sorry, he's all over the place. It's not making for a great video. He's just a pop. He just wants to roam and he wants to be. You want to come up? Okay. He wants to be in my lap. I'm going to actually. Here, hold on. Dylan, you want to say hi to everybody? Tell everybody you need their help, Dylan. Say thank you, everybody. Thank you for helping me because I want a life and I want to be healthy. I'm just a baby. He just lost two puppy teeth while well, he's been at the foster. Thank you, Dylan. I love you, too. I love you, too. So, guys, I'm signing off. I'm getting mauled with kisses in an oven. Um, I will update you just as soon as I have the answers. But please, please, please donate for Dylan, and I will keep you posted. This is Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida, with Dylan at the Leader 24-Hour Emergency Hospital, getting him checked out for a um, possible stage three, four uh, heart murmur. We'll update just as soon as we have any answers. I'm praying. Please pray with me and please donate. Thank you.